guys. Today we're going to be doing a little bit with the 400 EX. We got this set of handlebars on her here. Uh, I uh, was riding around the track. I broke the handlebars on it. Didn't roll it. It just fixed the finish damage. Uh, so my grandpa ordered a new set of handlebars, and the handlebars happen to be a little too narrow for all the components here. We got these nice fancy grips that are bolt-on so we don't have to get new grips or nothing. All we're doing is a simple bar swappity swap. What are those bars? Pro Tapers. Pro Tapers. Pro Taper Sports are actually pretty sharp looking bars. I think they'll look good on the 400 EX. Best in the biz. Let's get them on. Well, of course our wrenching on it. You gotta start the party off with a nice uh, non-alcoholic beverage. I promise it's ginger ale. Ginger ale. <laughs> ginger ale. <laughs> All right, so what's the first thing we're gonna do? Simple procedure, just start taking the stuff apart. Um, That's the easy part. Get the foam out of the way, which I'm considering putting on my dirt bike. Here, let's see, see if it'll fit. Hoonda! Repping the team, that looks pretty good. First mod on the 150R. You know what they say? Bars just came and hit me in the nards. <laughs> Ride red. Get ahead. Yeah, that's not going in the video. Jerk. All right, so for this job, you're gonna need to grab yourself an eight millimeter socket, a 12 millimeter socket, and a ratchet and an extension to tickle your fan set. Actually, gonna get a little longer extension. Let's hold it over and start tanking. Stop. You think it's gonna be long enough? That's what she said. First. Hold on. Let me actually like figure out all the tools I'm gonna need. All right, for this job, this is what you're gonna need. You need a 12 millimeter socket, get yourself an 8 millimeter socket, an extension, a ratchet. You're gonna need yourself a Phillips, Phillips screwdriver. And you're also gonna need, well, most people won't need, I need an Allen wrench for my specific grips that I have on it. Aftermarket most, grips. Most people, you just, you'll cut your grips off or try to get them off if they're not glued. I don't, some are glued, some aren't. Let's do it. Okay. Now I'll take off the plastic piece here, so I can figure out how to get it out. Now these are aftermarket bars. Uh, if these were stock, you wouldn't have this yeah. brace. The the brace just for like what I do. I do a lot of trail riding and stuff. Um, Helps it remain rigid. I do a lot of trail riding, and I like to, you know, do some wheelies. Uh, and, you know, <laughs> do some minor jumps and stuff. It's not easy on the bars that don't have the support. And uh, when my dad was back in his prime and he was riding this dude, uh, he did something and it kinked the bars. And then when I was riding at a motocross track, I just finished the job. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my grips off. Now uh, these are aftermarket grips. So uh, we got them on the interwebs. They just uh, screw on. You see they got a little Allen there. So uh, they're pretty nice. Ben's working on taking it off. They got these little plugs in the end of the uh, the bars. They go on the bars and they like kind of hold everything together. Um, so that's pretty nice. And then they got the clamps that hold the hold the grip on themselves. These kind of grips are nice just because they're easy installation. You know they're not going to go anywhere, um, and they're just they're easy to work with. They're no glue, no mess. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to get them on and off. Unlike some. So there's one grip off. Walk over here to the other side. All right, so after the grips, what do we want to do, Ben? Yeah, gotta be sober. I'm, I'm telling you, it's non-alcoholic. Now we got the grips off, we're going to uh, start taking the other stuff off the bar, so I'm just going to move all this stuff out of my way. Let's do my nice and clean wood pitch. That's not so clean as it should be. All right. We're going to whip out the screwdriver manure. Driver manure? Driver manure. Okay. All right, over under here, there's two screws. One here. Undo your one, screws. One where Ben's getting. 
There we go. Now it's gonna spin on you and it's gonna annoy the crap out of you. Don't let it bother you. It's just a throttle. It's not someone breaking your heart. All right, so we almost forgot to tell you the most important part. Don't drop is, uh, your screws. Uh, when you drop your screws, make sure you get all your buddies. Uh, we, for them. we could uh, get a magnet, but... Uh, Humans better. I found something. What? That is not... That's a nut, not a <laughs> hole. <laughs> You're nuts. Man. All right. All right, guys at home, see if you can spot it before we do. Jake, I'm pretty sure it went over your way. <laughs> it went over. All right, so what's that right there? Hey! 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 All right, Casey. What are you doing now? Uh, I'm doing the spinny spin on this thing. Oh, no. I think it does something. I'm not really How sure. How do you what. do the spinny spin? What's that dance look like? Spinny spin, spinny spin, spinny spin. spin. Oh, All right, it's kind of getting in the way now. All right, so we have Casey here taking off the brake, uh, just the lever, and uh, we have Ben over here messing with the control, the controls um, for the lights. I think and we might have lost the thing. You dropped it. All right, so we're looking for a screw part two. Oh, there it I is. Found it, yeah! Yeah! All right, so now that Ben has this thing off, uh, we're gonna have Casey uh, take off the rear brake. So uh, front brake. Front brake. So sense. after that, we're just gonna have to uh, undo these little zip ties. I think they're reusable. Ratchet for a reason. And uh, we're gonna take off these screws and bolt on the new one. All right, so now we have this thing all loose. All right, see you when we put on the new bars. All right, so we got our new bars. New set of pro tapers. Pro tapers, best in the biz. Best in the biz. So, uh. We're about to do the monumental set down. Yup. Here it goes. Here it is. We've all been waiting for this moment. Ooh. How are they gonna feel? Sexy. Nice. Bam, 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 bam. All right. Ah. Bah, bah, bah. All right, I think this is how we're gonna put them on. Uh, we might adjust them up just a hair, but. Uh, yeah, just about here. That's perfect. Put them on. All right, let's put them on. No, all right, so we had, now we have to undo everything we just did. Uh, Redo everything. Redo everything we just undid. we are undoing it, but we're not undoing it. We're putting it back together. So, we're putting it back we're together. We're undoing the do. Undoing the done. We're undoing the do. -de 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 -de. So, installation is the same as uh, taking it off. Yeah, you do the spinny spin again. You gotta hit her with a spinny spin. But, here we go. All right, so we uh, got the main bolts tightened up. We're gonna start putting on the accessories, like the clutch, the... Uh, Controls, brake, all sorts of goodies. Uh, Casey, what are you doing? Uh, I don't know. I've never ridden a four wheeler before. Ben, what did you do? I dropped another screw. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Let's see what we got. <laughs> oh, I found it. I found it. I found it. Let's go! All right, so our original plugs that go in the end of the bars, uh, we told them fit. So, what I found, just uh, creative, you got a valve stem, and it just so happens that oh, it's perfect. Fits perfect. Like a glove. So I think we're gonna do uh, get some glue or something and get those on there. Yeah. All right, so we got some gasket maker uh, about to do our quick and dirty little thing. All right. Perfect. Let that dry up. 
and uh thing will be just fine never be able to sell it actually looks pretty sweet so uh having <laughs> the nipples on the edge so uh no one's none the wiser so uh i think we're gonna go for a quick rip i'm really happy with the way these turned out they look and feel great so uh they'll probably put in a clip of us uh riding a little bit and uh yeah So Ben just took it for a quick ride, uh, went around on the new bars with the new bars, did a quick little rip, did a couple donuts. I'm way more happy with them bars than these bars. These bars weren't bad, the uh, rental balls, but I just personally enjoy taking these bars better because they're wider. Them bars are too narrow. They match like the silver and the rest of the four-wheeler looks wise. These, I can't fit my plastic piece panel back on, but these bars, are a lot more comfy to grip on. Overall, they're just a lot more comfy bars for this four-wheeler. Dirt bike, I'd probably put them bikes on them bars on a dirt bike. Like dirt bike wise, all bars would probably work good. I think they they might be a different pattern or something. They probably won't work on a dirt bike, but those bars are more suited for a dirt bike than these. These bars, feel outstanding. They got the support to hold you on. Um, uh, nice and rigid. They're rigid. Like I said, they got the support to keep the bars from bending down. Especially if you're doing motocross or slamming down on a hard end a lot front. Um, slamming down on the front end a lot hard. Uh, you know, this is a nice set of bars. I'm very happy.